Hi guys, it's Gene from Morris Patch of Heaven and welcome along today. We had a big surprise today and it wasn't very it wasn't very good. Um, let me come show you what happened. Uh, we took the day off today to uh, enjoy the family and go down to the river and when we came home you'll never guess what happened well you know we have two goats and that's part of the story um, so we took a little trip down to Elk River had a blast today um, spent time with the family uh, did a little uh, rafting and swimming at the river uh, because it was hot today um, close to 100 here and uh, so we needed to cool off but when we came home to our surprise this is what we found our beautiful green bean patch has been destroyed oh it's heartbreaking guys every single plant has been chewed off Every single leaf, almost every single leaf, every every green bean, all the green beans have been chewed off, and that could only mean one thing. Oh, that means somebody's in big trouble. I don't think it was the meat birds because they're all pinned up yeah guys did you see who did it can you guys tell me who did it huh how about you you know I know you saw you can tell me I won't tell all right I'll do some more investigating okay this is one of our chickens going to the fair tomorrow Yeah, we decided to show some of our meat birds, so we haven't butchered them yet. Eight of them. And we're gonna bring eight of them to the fair. <laughs> what other ones you you have other ones picked out yet? Yeah, I haven't picked these ones out yet. Oh, okay. But... All right. But yeah, these are going to the fair for the market <laughs> show, and they pick four of the best uh, hens or roosters that are the most uniform and they'll have a chance to win uh, some prizes yeah <laughs> this is our this is our biggest meat bird I'm sure it's a a good seven eight pounder <laughs> it's pretty big <laughs> but we'll weigh them tomorrow before we bring them to the fair oh that's a good one well, I've got a pretty good idea of, of what happened, but I'm going to go take a look over here and see. Our little ram lamb has been out before, and uh, but I don't think it was her. I, I have a good idea. I think I know what happened. Let's go take a look over here. There's the culprit right there. Good old Deborah. See, she's trying to run away from me. Ah, huh, Deborah. And then <laughs> Deborah and Daisy are two two little pygmy goats. Yep, they're the ones. Yes. And how do I know it was Deborah and Daisy? Well, they left a little bit of evidence uh, on the ground there, if you know what I mean. Yep. They ate so much that they left a little bit of evidence. Yeah. Yep. We let we let uh, Deborah roam around in the yard, and we give her too much freedom. Yep. She gets the free range all day with Daisy, but I think her days of free ranging are gonna be cut short. Yeah. Yeah, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. 
There's Daisy, the accomplice. Yeah, she helped. She helped Mama too. Yeah, were those good green beans, Daisy? All right. Well, yeah. While we're here, here's the sheep we're gonna Jediah and at, uh, De Jedi's gonna show at the fair. Black one, black, white one, and white one. Yep. Well, this big ram here, this white one, is five a, months is five months old. It's a Frisian. And the little one here, three months old. Three months old, it's and it's Jacob. it's a Jacob sheep. Jacob sheep from the Bible, the spotted, speckled sheep. Yeah. Both and those are both rams. And we're going to show those on Tuesday at the. Jasper County Fair. Yeah, this big this big guy in the back. Yeah, you don't get to go this year. He went last year. Huh. Yeah. But we're going to show these two. And then um, you're going to do this uh, showmanship also. Mm -hmm. And that's where he has to show, share all of his knowledge he knows about sheep. And uh, compete, and walk them in the ring and compete against the other rams. So good luck, Jedediah. Yeah, I think they'll do good. What are you doing? Huh? What do you want? You want food? Hi, kitty. Meow. Yeah, okay. Yep. You're, you can't mess with the big sheep. Okay, that one. Uh, here's our newest uh, chickens on the farm. Uh, we're gonna show these. Some of these are gonna be shown at the fair. Yeah, we just uh, purchased these uh, a little while ago. And uh, most of these are bantams. They're a littler, they're a smaller chicken. Did you saw black ones? Or Jersey Giants? Yeah, except for these, these two big black ones right here. Those are called Jersey Giants. And they will grow to literally be giant chickens. Uh, and the yellow one next to them will be big too. And the, this yellow one right next to them will be big also. But the rest of them are all bantams. They are our, pretty much, that's the size that, that they'll, they'll be. They're, they're full grown. <laughs> they're just little bantam chicks, chickens. And this one here. Um, she's like a frizzly chicken. Is a frizzle frizzle chicken. Her feathers grow backwards. She's a bantam also. She's a bantam also. Yeah. All yeah. of the feathers are backwards. Yeah, her feathers grow backwards. Yeah, she's a little hen. But those are the latest birds on the farm. Hi guys. Now which are we showing? The black and white ones at the fair? Right there? Uh, the two black and white ones right there. Yeah. The grizzly one. And that one's going to the fair. The brown and the brown and black one. Right here. And yeah. this brown and black one there, guys, going to the fair. And then the two that look exactly like the smallest ones in the back. <laughs> that one and that one. Yeah. We just got a truckload of bark chips for our pigs and we put the pig we put the uh, bark chips in here and that helps keep down the smell and they love to lay in it. Hi guys. Hi pork. Hi pork. Hi chop. How you doing? Huh? How you doing guys? Yeah. Yeah, you hungry? Okay, come on. Yeah, you're hungry, huh? Get it, I went to get you some nummies. Yeah. So we're going to get another truckload of bark chips. And we're going to add that in here. 
and we keep putting bark chips on there and it helps uh, keep the ground oh yeah yeah time for some watermelon yeah nothing like watermelon for dessert huh guys huh. oh yes huh. is that good yeah yeah oh sure Oh, yeah. Yeah, nothing like watermelon for dessert, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, that's good stuff, huh? Yeah. Okay. Huh, Juliet? What do you think, girl? Huh? What do you think? Yeah. You want some watermelon, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so good, girl. So the bark chips... They help keep down the smell, and then it makes for a real good manure once it's all uh, composted. And, uh, oh, sure, guys. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in there, huh? You want your own? What? You need to get your own watermelon, huh? Yeah. Okay, here's one more rooster that's going to the fair. I am Chimani. This is I am Chimani. <laughs> All Super black. Long tail yes. Look at those nice feathers, tail feathers. Yeah, I am Chimani is an all black uh, breed. And she is, oh, excuse me, he is beautiful. It's a rooster. Yeah, we're going to show him at the fair. Yeah, pretty. And how old is that rooster? A year old. Three? It's three years old. A year old. A year? One year old, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got this uh, at Baker's Creek. Yeah. Now we just need to get a hand. Yeah. Oh. Mancoon. There's Mancoon. We haven't seen Mancoon in a while. Oh, oh. Mancoon doesn't like the kitten. Oh, Mancoon, be nice. Be nice to the kitten, huh? We got two new little kittens on the farm, and they are into everything. Oh, huh, guys. Okay, guys, luckily, we have another patch of green beans that's fenced off from the animals. So these are still good. And Avonlea's out there harvesting green beans. Show me how many you got, Avonlea. Oh, wow. Awesome. Good job. Yeah. Okay. This is what we've harvest, harvested tonight. And this is called our harvest bowl. And we have some green beans, tomatoes, some squash, and... Uh, let me tell you, Joyce is going to tell you a little story about the Harvest Bowl. Okay, the Harvest Bowl is a special bowl to us. It's one that we found when we were in California probably, oh, how many years ago has that been? About 15 years 15 ago. 15 years ago. We were at a park in California and this stainless steel bowl was by the trash. <laughs> well, we can't leave something like that by the trash, so it has been with us forever and we use it every single year to harvest our vegetables. So this is what we have called our harvest bowl. It is absolutely amazing. We love it. It's huge. It's what I had full of basil. Now it's full of green beans and all kinds of goodies. Yep, tomatoes. Yep, garlic. our big harvest bowl. Okay, so here's some green beans. Just have to look underneath the, the leaves here. Some of them aren't ready. Some aren't ready here. We're, okay, here's some green beans right here. Green beans. Look at the okra. You got okra? Check it out. Oh yeah, oh yay, okra, all right. Damn, great. Just a few. Okay, here's some more green beans. 
Deborah couldn't find these. Woohoo! You better not. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of these are kind of little still. Oh, here's some big ones. This is too small. Here's some big ones. Yeah, that's too small, but here's a good size. And the more you pick these guys, and the more they start growing, the more they'll come back. So it's important to get out here and get them all harvested. So you can get some more green beans. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, time to go to bed. No time for your nightly feeding. Ah. Ah, yeah. oh, you are garlic. Okay, here's some more. Uh, of our harvest today we got uh, one beet we're excited yay but then we got a lot more turnips again guys look at those nice turnips yeah we got a whole bunch of turnips and then we got our garlic here's what our garlic looks like we pick those we're gonna let them dry out we got two full buckets full of garlic and this is just half of our garlic guys so we've still got a lot more to harvest but the garlic is looking good it just has to dry out now but uh, pretty nice sized garlic oh I'd say bigger than a golf ball uh, there's some big big ones in here but doing really good really they look real good and so that's what we got today guys uh, minus a few less green bean plants uh, thanks to somebody but um, okay guys so that's all we had for you today um, we uh, hope you all had a blessed day and until the next video guys god bless you all and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and we'll see you on the next video take care